Honey carrot cake. I started with a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add to it a cup of whole wheat flour. If we used all whole wheat flour, we'd probably have a really dense cake, and this carrot cake is dense enough, but this will give us just that little bit um, of extra that we want. And then I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, add a half a teaspoon of allspice, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and about a half a teaspoon of fresh ground nutmeg. Um, all right, so the dry ingredients are done, and now we're gonna move over to the wet ingredients. And so I'm gonna add to my mixing bowl a half a cup of vegetable oil. And then where you would normally add sugar, we're adding a different form of sugar, um, which is honey, which is always good for you, especially if you get locally harvested honey. Protects against allergies and stuff in your area of where you live. It's really a cool thing to do. Half a cup of honey. And then also to this little half cup measure, I'm gonna add in some applesauce, half a cup. We're gonna mix this together. I'm gonna add in two eggs. And a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. Mix that together, then we'll add in the dry ingredients. Let's get those yolks broken up. And then with your mixer on the lowest setting, we're gonna add in this flour mixture spoonful by spoonful until just incorporated. Last thing I'm gonna add, a cup of grated carrots. And I got a half a cup of chopped pecans. We now have a team of people that work out together, so Billy and me and Billy's sister Lisa, my sister Beth, my niece Ashley. Having kind of a tribe will keep you in a routine and just makes you feel good, makes you feel strong. Half a cup of shredded coconut. And we're just gonna mix it all together. I think this is looking good. I'm gonna divide this evenly into two loaf pans that have been buttered and they've been floured and then lined with parchment with an overhang so it'll be easier to lift out once they baked. You got this. You got this, honey carrot cake. I feel like I'm lifting weights just holding this mixing bowl. All right, I'm gonna spread it in the pans a little bit. And carrot cake takes a while to, to bake. It's gonna be so super yummy. These are gonna bake at 350 degrees for about an hour. Well, you know I love a good dessert. Mm -hmm. That looks amazing. This is honey carrot cake loaves. So we're gonna let those cool. This is basically what you, how you would make cream cheese frosting, but we're gonna make it into a glaze. So I'm gonna add into a mixer about three tablespoons of butter and two ounces of cream cheese that is softened. And then I'm just gonna mix this together until it's creamy. I'm just gonna scrape it down a little tiny bit and then we're gonna add in some powdered sugar and some vanilla. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to add in a quarter cup of powdered sugar. This is a glaze. If you didn't add any milk, this would really just be frosting. If there was a pulse on an electric mixer, I think that would be a really great idea <laughs> for you manufacturers playing at home. I'm gonna add in about half a teaspoon of vanilla. Get that all mixed together. Scrape it down again. We want glaze to be thick but pourable, so everybody knows what, what glaze is supposed to look like. So to do that, you add liquid, and we're gonna add some milk, but we don't wanna add too much at once because it can get way too thin, way too fast. So really just add a tablespoon at a time. So I'm gonna ask you, just add it in by a good tablespoon, just a little, just a little pour. Go back to low, just a little <laughs> bit more. You are good, that's really good. That's actually probably gonna be perfect. All right, we have glaze. Move over here, and I'm gonna just spread some over this beautiful honey carrot cake. 
We're drizzling. And we're drizzling. Ooh. All right, if you'll grab a plate, I will actually usually fight over the end piece, but I'm gonna give you a fresh inside piece. Gorgeous. It's kind of like zucchini bread, you know, it just, it's got all the good veggies in it, but it's sweet, it's desserty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for a great day. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you for being my trainer. <laughs> thank you for being my cook today. <laughs> Teaching me things. It's just good warm right out of the oven. It's also good, like the next day for breakfast, you could just put a little bit in a toaster. So, okay, I'm tasting cinnamon. Is there a little bit of ginger? Mm-hmm. And almost there's, like a little bit of an apple-y taste. Mm-hmm, there's applesauce in it. Oh, even better. Happy anniversary of moving to Nashville a year ago. So glad you're here. You love it here? I do. We're gonna work this off tonight. Mm -hmm. Be great. It's gonna be great. Oh, yeah, yeah.